is Katarina Zambrano. I am a grade 12 and I am a general member in the Council student team. Today is Triva Chess Day. So, do you know how many points are on the maple leaf on the Canadian flag? Don't forget, follow us in our Instagram account, which is Assumption Crusades. Go to go! Good morning, everyone. So we started our day with Trivia Tuesday. So again, how many points are on the maple leaf uh, on the Canadian flag? So thank you. And follow Assumption Crusader on Instagram. Uh, I think Aria might be facing some technical difficulties. Uh, he's not here yet, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. We've got things under control. I wanted to share a quote with you. Yesterday, uh, we shared a motivational video because I know we're tired and we're at the home stretch of quad one. And, you know, we're just not quite sure if we can do it. Here is a quote I'd like to share with you. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. We tend to sell ourselves short, everyone. And yet we are, we are these things. It's in there. Uh, we just, you know, the fear of something tends to be bigger than the actual something. You guys have this. So just remember this. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. I uh, didn't mention this yesterday, uh, but this week it is uh, National Treaties Recognition Week. And so I'm going to talk, uh, talk about treaties now. Hang on, I have a special photo. There we go. So what is a treaty? A treaty is an agreement between nations. Treaties have been established over centuries between First Nations peoples themselves and with other nations. In Ontario, there are 46 treaties. You can go online and type the words treaty map to view by region all the treaties in Canada. And did you know historically the Mississauga of the Credit First Nation occupied, controlled and exercised stewardship over approximately 3.9 million acres of lands, waters and resources in Southern Ontario? Their territory extended from the Rouge River Valley westward across to the headwaters of the Thames River down to Long Point on Lake Erie and then follow the shoreline of Lake Erie, the Niagara River and Lake Ontario until arriving back at the Rouge River Valley. And you can, you know, uh, re research a lot of this online. So we, we honor the land that we're on and we recognize uh, treaties. This is the treaties week. Um, okay, it's 8.13. Um, oh, did you also know, so, it's beginning of November. Today is All Souls Day, so we will be praying a special prayer uh, for today's feast day or um, memorial. November is also Diabetes Awareness Month. So we know we might know a lot of people who are living with diabetes, and so this is the Diabetes Awareness Month, and the Diabetes Day is November 14th. Next week is Remembrance Day. That is also in November. And just a little heads up, everyone. Uh, Remembrance Day is uh, actually a turnaround day between Quad 1 and Quad 2, so it's a PD day for all of you. We will be celebrating or honoring, not celebrating, my bad. We will be honoring and remembering Remembrance Day next Wednesday on November 10th as part of our morning prayer. So just, uh, you know, November tends to be uh, more of a somber month. Uh, and it's also the month where, because in the Catholic calendar, we start the day, the month with all saints and all souls, November is typically the month where we remember our loved ones who have died. I will have a book of remembrance in the chapel, and feel free to come and write the names of your loved ones who are on the other side of this life. And when we pray, we will remember those names and those intentions. And so that will be in the chapel, uh, a book of remembrance. And just, you know, when you have a quiet moment or on your lunch, you can just come in and just write, write your names. Of course, sanitize your hands before and after you pick up the pen. All right, everyone, it is time for our anthem, time to get our day really started. So if you're in the hallway, please stop. And if in your class, please stand for our national anthem. Canada. Tomate por telepeo, 
Il se porte la croix Ton histoire et tu es pour faire Tes plus brillants exploits Au Canada Que te guanach Na ni guida mi guetche Let us remain standing and reverent for our morning prayer. Today is All Souls Day, when we remember our relatives and friends who have died. Many of them are not famous, their statues are not in churches, but their pictures are in our homes and their stories are alive in our hearts. We know their goodness and we know their struggles. They remain in our hearts and in the way they have influenced and loved us. We miss them very much and so we pray and remember them with love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, we pray today for all the friends and family who have died. We pray that their souls rest in peace. For ourselves, we ask that we find comfort in the family and friends here on earth as they are God's sign, as they are a sign of God's presence in our lives. May our faith in the love you have for each of us be a source of strength on our journey. Our Lady of the Assumption, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hang on while I cue the music. All right, we're a well oiled machine over here. Uh, for the Schism students attending the Schism trip tomorrow, Permission forms must be handed in today. Uh, don't say tomorrow at the latest. That was written for yesterday. They are due today. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations to the junior girls basketball team for their win against STA. Go blue, go. High scores were Maddie King and Alex Genero with nine points each. Playoffs begin this week. Go Crusaders. Go blue, go. And good luck to the senior girls field hockey team as they compete in the G-Hack semifinals at 3 p.m. this afternoon here at Assumption. You've got this, girls. Go, Blue, go. Uh, Alpine ski snowboard uh, snowboarders. Calling all ski and snowboard racers. The Alpine team will have our first info meeting on Wednesday, November 3rd. That's tomorrow in the Piazza at 2.20 p.m. You must be an intermediate level in the sport. See you tomorrow. Calling all singers. We need your help. We're looking for angelic voices to re record a piece of music for a Remembrance Day service. If interested, meet, meet at the music room today after school. Tech crew. Any students interested in joining uh, the Assumption, Assumption Tech crew, please see Mr. Galley in room 209 or Mr. Soster, room 212, or scan this QR code. There we go. There's a QR code. Let me leave it up for a bit. You can always watch this, um, you know, later and then pause and do the QR code. All right, next. Calling all curlers. First meeting for all students interested in curling. Please attend a compulsory meeting today at 2.15 to 2.45, room 116. Uh, co your coach is Mrs. Ponikvar. See you then. Grade 12 is applying to university. The university pins are in and located in the guidance office. If you're applying to college, the college website is open and you, no pin is required. So good luck grade 12s as you start your applications. Calling all students looking for a leadership opportunity. The drama department needs your help. If you're interested in helping with a virtual workshop day for the grade eight students, see Mrs. Agbon in room 204. Varsity Girls Hockey, the first tryout for the Varsity Girls Hockey Team will be this Wednesday, November 3rd at 3.30 p.m. at Mainway Arena. That's tomorrow. You must bring your signed forms in order to skate. Speaking of hockey, Senior Boys Hockey, first tryout is today at Mainway Arena at 3.30 p.m. Players must have permission forms, concussion forms, and cash online receipt for tryout fee and proof of full vax. 
And getting ready for Christmas. I know we just finished Halloween and now we're talking about Christmas. Poinsettia sale. Are you ready for Christmas? Poinsettias go on sale today, or that was yesterday, but they're on sale now. Reserve yours through Cash Online. Support our ambassador and Schism nonprofit groups uh, in raising money. For info, uh, go to goblugo.ca. All other announcements uh, can be found on our website and on our social media accounts. And there we go. There's so much happening at the school. If you still haven't got involved, there's always stuff happening. You can always, you know, join or or ask what is available to join. And that's it, everyone. Have a fabulous day. It's Tuesday. We've got this. You've got this. Don't worry. Just keep trudging along. And keep on keeping on, everyone, because you've got this and you can do this. Take care, everyone. And remember, you are, you are God's work of art.